The percentage of women getting CS diplomas from Harvey Mudd College has tripled in the last five years. The story of this remarkable transformation can be found in this week's edition of Bloomberg Business Week. And our next guest is the woman behind it, the president of the prestigious Southern California School. Maria Clave joins us today from Vancouver. Maria, welcome to Bloomberg West. So you have tripled the percentage of women CS majors at Harvey Mudd College. How did you do it? Well, Emily, the, the credit really goes to the faculty at our computer science department. About six years ago, they decided they were going to change the introductory course. And instead of having a traditional learned program in Java course, they made it a problem solving in science using computational approaches. And it's interesting because the students are still learning the same kinds of things. They're programming in Python, which is a much easier programming language to learn, a much more forgiving programming language, but they're being motivated by working on really fun kinds of problems. And what we found is that this course, which is a required course for every student in their first semester at Harvey Mudd College, suddenly became the favorite course of all the required courses instead of one of the least liked. And this made it much more attractive, not just to the female students, but also to the male students. We also organized taking groups of our first year female students to the Grace Hopper Celebration of Women in Computing Conference because we realized that whether they were going to major in physics or math or engineering or computer science, seeing lots of successful women who really were inspired by their careers was going to be helpful. Uh, they, the must have been, they must have been inspired, Maria. I mean, Sheryl Sandberg, the COO of Facebook, says that you have actually moved the numbers in this industry. Uh, she also says in the midst of what is a very serious employment issue in the country, there's a field here that's dying for more very well qualified people. Why aren't more women interested in computer science and engineering? What's the problem? We know from lots of studies that the issue is that high school girls don't see computer science or engineering as something they would enjoy or as something they'd be good at. And, you know, our students tend to pick what they love and what they think they'll do well at. So what we've had to do is show them that, first of all, they can love computer science and they, they can be really good at it. Now, you're also on the board of two major technology companies, Broadcom and Microsoft. How difficult is it, are you finding for those companies to recruit women employees and what are they doing to up their numbers? Well, I think every tech company right now would love to hire more female engineers simply because we find that if we have more diverse teams, including gender diversity, you tend to get better solutions. And I know that Microsoft has um, made it a priority to recruit at Harvey Mudd College. Uh, this last year, they hired five of our graduates. That doesn't sound like very many, except that we only graduate about 180 students each year, and they were the largest employer this year, followed by Raytheon. Broadcom is also working hard uh, to recruit more females, and you know, part of it is offering programs that really help females um, develop their careers within the companies. Microsoft is doing similar kinds of things. And Microsoft CEO Steve Ballmer has also said we need to keep more women interested longer in their lives in science, technology, engineering, and math subjects. You're also doing work to recruit minorities as well in computer science. What's the, the difference there between recruiting women, women and recruiting other underrepresented groups? Well, for women, you don't really have to worry so much about their preparation because in general, women are coming out of high school with similar levels of preparation in math and science to males. The issue for African Americans, for example, is that there are so few African Americans that are really taking the highest level math courses and physics courses. And so if you look at the number of African American students that graduate in the United States with the kind of preparation to attend a place like Harvey Mudd College or MIT or Caltech, there's probably only about 300 of them across the country. And our issue for recruiting those students is 
our competitors are so much better known than we are and for students who are perhaps the first uh, college attendee from their family they tend to go to places that are better known so one of our big deals is to become much better known within the african-american community so that they know if they come to harvey my college they'll get just a wonderful education and lots of support now maria i can't let you go without talking to you about your skateboard. We, we just saw a, a picture of you riding it across campus. Other than being convenient, you say that this actually helps open students up? Well, the first thing I have to tell you about the skateboard is that I'm a very uncoordinated person. And so it has <laughs> taken me about four years to get as good on the skateboard as our students become in two weeks. But the thing about riding the skateboard is it allows the students to be my mentors instead of the other way around. And they take great pride in my improving. And they, even the shyest students seem more likely to talk to me when I'm on the skateboard. I look pretty funny in the helmet and the pads and all these kinds of things. So um, I found it just a great way to get to know our students better. Well, I salute you. I'm not even coordinated enough to attempt it. But uh, Maria Clave, president of Harvey Mudd College, thanks so much for joining us here on Bloomberg West. Thank you. Emily. Coming up.